and thank you for visiting my channel. For those of you who are new, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And for those who are returning, thank you for visiting once again. Today's review will be on the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. I love these things. They come packaged in this cute little lace bag and they normally retail for $7.99 each. Just to let you know, this video, I know, is a little lengthy, but I do go into detail in regards to each one of the um, items that I have here in this bag. So stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start out with the first color, and this will be 01 Honeymoon. And it looks like this. And I'm going to apply this without lip liner. I did use the NYX, let me see, this one is um, Espresso. So I did use NYX Lip Liner and the color is Espresso. And I lined my lips with it because I wanted you to actually see what it looks like when it's lined. Um, I wouldn't recommend anyone actually wearing these without a liner, especially women of color. I believe you should put a subtle liner around your lips or you can go heavy if you want, but I just feel it looks a lot better when you line your lip with these. Um, this actually, this shade comes off as a light brownish color to me with a little bit of a gold tone to it. But I love this one. This is one of my favorites out of the group. And I'll move on to the next color. Okay, the next color is going to be Lace Detail. And that is 03 Lace Detail. And it looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And this is 03 Lace Detail. Okay, I'm back. This is Lace Detail and I have applied a light lip liner around my lips. And as you can see, it looks a lot better. There's no way I would even step out without placing some sort of lip liner around my lip with this particular color. This one comes across as a nudish purpley kind of pink like a really powdery pink with just a tad bit of purple in it um it's a really pretty color but like I said I would not step out without put, applying a lip liner around this one and also it seems like the texture is a little different from the first one honeymoon that I applied um the honeymoon had more of a moussey feel to it this one has like a drier feel to it and it also was a challenge to put it on to get a actual full coverage on my lips without it separating. Um, but like I said, it's a very pretty color and I will go with it. It would be something I might use as far as applying a light lip gloss over the top of it, but it's just a really pretty color. 
So I'll move on to the next color. Okay, the next color will be 04 Ruffle Trim. I really love this color. And this is what it looks like. Go ahead and apply. And this is 04 Ruffle Trim. Okay, this is 04 Ruffle Trim with lip liner applied. I love this color. This is another one of my favorite out of the group. Um, I think it complements my skin very well. It goes with my skin tone. I just really, really like this one. And Ruffle Trim is kind of like a, it has a little bit of an or orangey pinkish tone to it more of like a warm tone kind of complimenting my skin like I said over and over again that just lets you know I really like this color very pretty and this is um, 04 ruffle trim okay the next color is going to be 05 beauty mark I'm going to go ahead and apply Oh, 05 Beauty Mark. Okay, this was O5 oh, Beauty Mark. Ladies, I don't even have to say nothing. This this right here can stand on its own. No lip liner needed. I did apply it and I lined my lips with the same color that I did with the other four. But this one right here, oh, this is the primo of the crop. This is the this is what caused my attention was this color right here. I have been looking for a brownish tone liquid lipstick for the longest. I've tried out a number of different ones. This one hit the mark. I mean, oh, I just I love this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to grab me up another bottle because you know my lips are kind of big, so I know I'm gonna be using this a lot. So this one will get used up really quick, but I love this stuff. Look how pretty it is. It's a brownish tone to it. It stands its own. I mean, I don't even really have to explain anything to you about this. You can just plainly see that this is, this is the business right here. This right here. Mm, love this one. Okay, my next color is going to be 06 Push Up. And this is her right here. And I'm going to apply. And this is 06 Push Up. Okay, this is 06 Push Up. 
and I added the lip liner around her. She comes like off as very, very close to, um, which one is it? She comes across close to lace detail if you ask me. And this is lace detail. And this is push up. If you ask me, the both of them resembles the same on me almost. Very, very close. They both come off as a nudish type of pink kind of powdery. Same type of um, formula. Um, texture rather. Um, kind of chalky. A little bit more drying than the others. So, um... Like I said before, it's a nice color. It's something that I wear probably most likely during the summertime. And I will all, I will always have to combo this with um, another lip color or lip gloss. Going to the next color now. Okay, next up will be 07 Satin Ribbon. And this is what she looks like. I'm going ahead and apply. Mama, ooh, okay, keep your composure. I will not be walking out of the house with this on by itself. Ooh wee, I look like I stuck my, <laughs> I'm sorry, wait a minute. I look like I stuck my lips in some powdered sugar that was dyed pink. Okay, okay, put it on, put it on. Ooh. Help me, help me, help me. This is so, oh. <laughs> okay. I am having a hard time not to laugh because I'm silly by nature. This is, this is killing me right here. I don't even know if lip liner can help this. Mm. It does separate a lot when I'm putting it on. That's a, you know, a detection that maybe that color is just not what you need to be putting on your lips. But. Ooh -wee. Okay. This is 07 Satin Ribbon. Okay, I'm back with um, 07 Satin Ribbon. Um, let me just say this real quick. Have you ever heard of that saying, if it don't work, don't force it? This right here, this right here is a prime example. This does not work for me. It does not work for my skin tone. It does not work for my lips. It doesn't do anything. The only thing that this thing does is, this color does is, dry out my lips and make you see every crack that's in my lips and it's just it's just a mess it separates it doesn't there's something about the pinkish color um i found in this formula that they're using it separates and i don't know why it's a little more drying and it's kind of hard to apply and you have to keep like putting your lips together to try to get a smoother finish and if you can see up close how it's cracking and stuff, this will be one that I will retire in the back of the drawer and it will just be there for decoration purposes. I will not use this. I don't even know if this will look like look right with a gloss on it. I I might get the nerve to try it one day, but I this one right here is a fail. But this one is 07 satin. Um, ribbon it don't get me wrong it may look good on someone else's skin tone but not mine next okay the next color is number 11 baby doll and this is the color here um, to be honest I hope well actually I think this is going to be the same disaster as um, baby doll but I'm going to go ahead and apply it Mm. 
my lips look like some kind of beacon like I can home in some planes with these lips this is not <laughs> mm, yeah <laughs> okay all right <clears throat> I'm not gonna even apply anymore <laughs> I'm just gonna this is um what color is it again um this is 11 baby doll <laughs> I'm gonna apply some lip liner but I really don't think this is gonna help but um this is it. <laughs> okay, this is 11 Baby Doll. And this is a hot mess if you ask me. But um, it's a palish pink color. This one also will be retired away in the back of my makeup drawer somewhere. Never to be seen again. Moving on to the next color. Okay, the next color will be 07 Teddy. And this is her right here. I'm gonna apply. O7 Teddy and I'm going to apply with lip liner next okay here's another winner number 10 Teddy I think I said O7 in the um, application of this color it's actually number 10 Teddy and I love this one this one is also a mutish brown color more of a earthy tone color I love it O10 Teddy Okay, the second to the last color is going to be um, Bedtime Flirt. And this is what she looks like. And I'm going to apply. Okay, and this is 08 Bedtime Flirt. I'm going to apply the lip liner and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with 08 Bedtime Flirt and I have added the lip liner around her. Um, it is a workable color. I do like it. It's kind of a pale mute pink and I believe that I can work with this color as long as I most likely add a little bit a layer of lip gloss to it I know that it's supposed to be a matte finish but as you've seen some of the colors that I have already swatched and reviewed um, when it comes to the lighter colors they just don't always come out as smooth texture and I just don't like to run around with my lips looking all cracked up and stuff so um, bedtime flirt will be on my keep list I would just kind of use a light lip gloss over the top just to smooth it out a little. But I can work with this color. It's pretty. And that is Bedtime Flirt. Okay, and my last color will be 09 Corset. And this is the color here. And I'm going to apply.
Mm. Okay, this is 09 Corset. And I'm going to add the lip liner and I'll be back. Okay, this is 09 Corset with the lip liner. Um, here she is. I do like this color. She's kind of a taupey color. Um, if you ask me, she's a little close to this particular one here, which is um, Honeymoon. But she's just a tad bit lighter. So if you can see them close up together, they're kind of similar. But I do like them both, and I will use them both. Okay, now that I have given a lip swatch for all 10 of the liquid lipsticks, um, my take on them is, I think NYX did a great job on the actual liquid lipstick formula here. Most of them did apply smoothly. They have a moussey feel to them. But when it came to the lighter colors, like your um, pale pink colors, they were kind of dry, as you can see. Um, some of them did not go with my skin tone. Some of them I wouldn't be caught dead in them, honestly, to tell you the truth. But... Like I said, I think they did a great job. I think they covered the spectrum of everyone's color. Um, anyone of any color can actually use these lip um, liquid lipsticks and successfully pull them off. A lot of brands um, don't cater to women of darker skin complexion. So I think they did a great job on um, this particular item. Would I buy most of them again? Yes, some of them, no, I won't. Now, I do want to state that these bad boys are hard as heck to get off. This is what I had to use to get them off with, okay? This is what happens. Let me show you what happens when you try to remove this after it has dried. I do want to let you know that um, it is a great texture, but once they dry, they become very sticky. And when I say sticky, I mean sticky as far as a dry type sticky, um, not a gooky, um, lip glossy type sticky. It's like really dry. You see that? It, it kind of pinches your lips together and holds them together. That's what I mean by sticky. Now, as far as getting them off, I have my standard makeup remover here that I use to remove all types of makeup except for waterproof. It does have a problem with waterproof, which you can kind of state that this will be in the waterproof um, genre here because this stuff does not budge. This is what happens when you try to remove it with your simple um, makeup remover cloth. See that? It even pulls the fibers off of the um, makeup remover cloth this stuff will not budge they didn't mind when it said that it won't it is it won't transfer once it gets solid this is not even solid dry this is still a little bit damp and it does that so what i had to do is use my vaseline you want to use something that like a oil base to it and apply it and that way you're able to actually and use a lot like i'm using See, then you're able to start to remove the product off a little easier. Oh, okay, I'm going to um, remove the rest of this off of camera, but I give it a thumbs up. I think they did a great job. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And drop a comment below and tell me how, what you think of the um product review. Bye.